I'll tie. I'll tie. I'll tie. Shantae. I don't really know why I did that like a flight attendant, like come this way. Um, anyway, so <laughs> welcome back to Ash Adorable, where I put together really simple looks, kind of like a Picasso, just paint my face. I'm hoping to do something just a tad bit more glittery inspired. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a glitter particular thing, but definitely wanna be shiny tonight, so it's just for nightwear. I guess we can call it the Nightmare Edition. I pulled out my moisturizer. I'm going to go in, because it does wonders for my face, the Mary Kay Overnight Cream that I like to use for my extra dry skin. Yes, I do actually have some previous makeup on. Normally, I never start with like lipstick or anything, but my lipstick was popping, so I decided to leave it on. I've been running around all day. These brows have been on from yesterday. Yeah. I'm gonna probably reshape them though, clean them up for tonight. So, we're going to start with cleaning up these brows some more since they're there, but they're not really there. Just to see what we're working with, I'm gonna brush through a little bit. That might take off some product, but that's okay. You don't want it to be crusty. That's that through there. So, we're going to use my handy dandy, dandily, <laughs> handy dandy um, angled brush here and my Amuse Dip from Shop. MissA.com. No, I don't get any promo for saying it. It'd be kind of cool if I did. Wink, wink. So let's start with this brow here. Definitely starting at the ends, making them cleaner, nicer, sharper. Let's go with this next brow. Just replicating kind of what I had already there. Using it as a guide, but definitely taking some time to add some more arch, more interest. And I'm just drawing towards the front. I'm looking at my other mirror just to see where I'm at, how it's looking. I'm gonna bring them up to the top somewhere instead. Bonus information I carry this little pouch with me almost everywhere I go. And what I keep in my pouch is an actual, like, eyebrow it has a brush on one side and a pencil on the inside. And I use this just in case I'm on the go. It's a dark brown color, just to kind of brush through and then pencil through just in case I need it. My concealer, I love this concealer, it's by Revolution, and it's um, it's a fast fast base concealer, so that's what it's called. I love this thing, that's why I keep it with me because it's like melded right into my skin and I it has a little spongy thingy at the end, so I can, or applicator if you will, so I can actually have, applicate as I go along, which is amazing. So I'm gonna be using that in this tutorial. Then I also keep my Revlon um, Color Bus, they've been out forever. If I'm feeling bold, I keep my cream lipstick by NYX in here. And I love it, it's purple, just like it looks out here. And that's only if I'm feeling really bold and crazy. I keep tweezers in here as well, and I also keep some spray-on hand sanitizer for my hands, just in case I want to keep things clean. Then I also keep my obsessed lipstick by AOA Studio, so I love it. Um, I keep that with me as well. All right, there you go. So it's it's actually supposed to be a, it's a Wonder Matte lipstick, and it's called Obsessed, and I love it. So I bring that with me. And then an extra lip balm. That's like my emergency, I need to make sure my face looks decent thing. It's not bad to have in your bag. That was like a whole spiel. I hope that like actually helped you. With that said, I brought out my nice handy dandy concealer, my fast base concealer. I'm going to use it for building underneath the eyes because it's nice and light. But for right now underneath the eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the Dermacol concealer. So now we're gonna go in with the lids, like I said. Just out of your pure interest, I'm going to use the Saharan by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna use the Katsina. I figure it's a nice, just solid base color. So I'm gonna go in with Jamila. I'm gonna see how I feel about it after I do this. Now we're gonna go with a uh, Sokoto. This is the color that I was worried about. It's so much bolder than anything else I've ever used. So now I'm going to conceal over this, kind of in a cut crease style to make the glitter shine through. So it 
I like to do is set this with the perfect setting powder here, just so I can have a nice base to work from, mattified if you will. So we're gonna go back in, still with the same Saharan. It's just like rare to keep going, but I'm having a hard time. I don't know if I should go with this color because it's just so different, or go with the pink because it's expected. Unexpected it is, yes. I'm gonna go with the one that's unexpected. All right, cool, so it's gonna be called Wodabe. It's the same thing, tracing it out. This looks way better than it does on the palette, just letting you know. It's tracing the same line where the creasing is. You see this wonderful madness? Like, I'm so excited right now. And we're just coming in with the whole thing. Just coming on in, bro. Just get in there. <laughs> you saw that? I'm like so excited to get it on. I'm like, take the same brush I use for the Sakoto and just kind of finish blending that out. Blending is important. So I just wanted to kind of blend into each other a little bit at the end on both sides. This is a color Chad. So it's from the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna do this just to kind of help define my eye. It's basically liner. I'm just using the smudger instead. There you go. Like I said, so I was gonna use the liquid and all that, but I'm gonna use powder. And just tap the smudger right there along the Lash line. So we're gonna conceal now with my favorite concealer, The Revolution. Yes, I smell it because I'm like, yes? Drop, drop, drop. Really how it is, just kind of, you can kind of blot it in there. I'm just blotting it really into my trouble spots under the eye, really. So I'm actually going to use a different technique. I'm going to just double it in instead of rubbing it like that. And I'm trying to get underneath here. Use a flatter end of this brush because that's how I flat into it. Oops, I forgot to put this on. What I'm going to do is, because I forgot to put the baby skin on, is do the same thing. It's clear, so I'm just going to do the same thing about the pore minimizing. I meant to do this a lot sooner, but I got so excited by how pretty the eyeshadow came out. And that's okay, it happens. So next step instead will be to come back in with a pore minimizer. Same thing, doubling it in through. For the concealer, I'm gonna set it. So I still wanna do some foundation. Where is I'm gonna do Do You by Too Faced. And I'm gonna take my brush, got some out now, here, here, here. Take some more away from there. Okay, here, 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 okay, here, here. That should be more than enough. I feel so smooth, oh my gosh. I feel so nice, I'm like, oh. I'm going to set this really quick with the Morph Setting Spray or Setting Mist. Okay, so now it looks really dewy right now, which is not what I want, so it's fine. I say that for a reason. After the matte, I know it looks crazy, but after that, I'm gonna go back in with some more of the concealer. We're gonna do the same technique, but this time set with banana powder, and that's just underneath the eye, just to kind of give it some brightness. Banana, Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. I love this thing. I usually use banana powder towards like cosplay. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Maybelline Fit Me and the color uh, Fit Me in 355 or 35, I can speak today. This is more just an overall, because I don't want to contour too heavy, but I definitely want to make sure it's like less glossy, more bossy. It's me attacking other parts of my face with powder, basically. Bring it down the nose, it's like making a different T, if you will. Okay, bring that down. 
So now that I have that on, I'm gonna now wipe it away because I don't wanna take too long. I have dry skin, baking is never wise. So we do some lashes on this face and I'm just, I'm just gonna run not a lot of mascara because my eyes are pretty thick already. It's really for brushing out the lashes. Now we're gonna go in with Slay by Tay lashes. Yes, Slay by Tay lashes. And um, these are called Vicious. So this damn, these are Vicious. So I'm gonna stack, I'm gonna, first action I stack, I'm gonna blot first. And go over with a pinkish gloss, blush. <laughs> pinkish gloss, and see how that either magnifies or brings down the intensity. I think it looks a little better glossy. It looks good, more rich, okay. I'm gonna highlight now, and then that is it for this outdoor, or outdoor, I can speak. This going out look for tonight. All right, so we're gonna use that Juvia's highlighter. Juvia! One more mist, just to hold all of this together. Have fun out there. Thanks so much for watching. Ash adorable. All right guys, see you soon.